Shaman Mendonza, the parent who assaulted a Winford Garden grade one teacher, was today charged and appeared in the Georgetown Magistrate's Court. The woman, who is the wife of a GDF officer, appeared before Magistrate Faith Magusti and was charged with unlawful wounding. She was released and thirty thousand dollars bail for the offence. The teacher Yolanda Jackson was also charged with causing actual bodily harm to Mendonza and was released on twenty thousand dollars bail. This latest development has angered the Guyana Teachers Union and Union President Mark Light said he was disappointed with the police investigations into the matter. The investigation conducted by the police is not thorough. So how can you charge somebody in their workplace having been, having been wounded? And that is what agitates us at the union because it is not right for the teacher to be charged in this case. She is the victim. Why is the teacher being charged and, and, and placed before the court and have to post bail? This is ridiculous. It's only in this country these laws are, are, are twisted like this. Any other place it's done differently. You cannot go into the school and, and, and wound somebody and, 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 and then you are given um, equal treatment like the person who is affected. This is ridiculous. And the union will not stop at agitating for this matter to be, these, these matters to be dealt with in a better manner. Jackson said she was stumped in her abdomen and her back by Mendonza. She also has a gash to her forehead. Mendonza voiced the cameras all the time by covering her face with her hat, but after posting bail, she said she would dedicate her life to being an advocate for Guyanese children. The part that parents and teachers have to take is very, very, very unfortunate. The relationship between teachers and parents should be cordial. But in this sense, it's not. Because for decades, our children's voices were never heard. And I say again, never heard. Our children have been pushed aside, ignored. No one has ever taken the time out to listen to our children cry for help against victimization, abuse, and bullying meted out to them by our teachers at our schools, which have caused an emotional trauma and hinder their learning. No justice for our traumatized and mentally broken children who are so defenseless against these bullies that we call teachers. No time at all, at no point, not one teacher was ever charged for our brutalized and abused children. Not one of our children's voices were ever heard. Will their voices ever be heard? If or if not, I, will go down with my life, being an advocate for all of Guyana's children. No child must be abused by our teachers at our schools. Outside of the courthouse, scores of teachers, parents, and members of the union came out to lend support to Ms. Jackson. Parents who want to assault teachers, they're unruly and indisciplined, and I could imagine who they were when they were children at school. No wonder the child had to kick the other one because the parent is an unruly parent. The entire family, as a matter of fact, because you know what, we've recognized that the two, the two sets of parents, they're related. So you can imagine what happens in their home. It's a generational curse in them. I want all parents to know that we stand against violence against teachers and the union will represent these two teachers and all other teachers who are affected. And we will ensure that this is the last of such acts such criminal act. It's a pity that the law is fractured in that the perpetrators of these acts are allowed to pay a small bail and our innocent teachers are charged and placed before the court. But we Mr. President, we will have to bargain for this, that when parents assault teachers in school, we must expel them from the public schools, let them go to the private schools and let's see if they will have those kinds of behaviors. Um, in the, pub, in the private schools. In the private schools, when they misbehave, they throw them out. But they come into the public schools and do all sorts of things. It's one of the, 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 the conditions we are going to be advocating for, for our teachers. For our Mendonza and her family, while leaving the court, also had an exchange of words with the teachers. The matter will continue on January 29th.